clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Her face may no longer be familiar to a lot of people, but for millions of classic movie fans, her name still clangs a bell. Now. When Margaret O'Brien was a little girl, she was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Today, she can still draw a crowd, as she did during her recent visit to St. Louis for a screening of the 1944 film that made her a star. 2019 is the 75th anniversary of Meet Me in St. Louis, so it seemed only fitting to the folks at Turner Classic Movies to arrange for fans of the movie to meet her in St. Louis. It's wonderful to be here in St. Louis. I used to come here as a little girl with my mother, and uh, we would come through that Union Station. So I saw it then, and now I'm seeing it now. It's absolutely gorgeous. He tried to kill me. Margaret O'Brien was six when she played the role of precocious Tootie Smith. Today, she is 82, but her memories of making the film are still sharp, especially of her co-star, Judy Garland. Working with Judy was wonderful. She was actually a very happy person. She loved playing jump rope with the kids on the set, and she loved kind of being a kid, you know? Buzz, buzz, buzz with the buzzer. The film was directed by Vincent Minnelli. That's him giving Margaret O'Brien some direction. But it was Minnelli's relationship with Judy Garland that took her life in a new direction. This happened to be a very happy time for Judy because she met Mr. Minnelli and they had a little romance on the set. And of course, a year later, Liza was born. So uh, if it hadn't been for Meet Me in St. Louis, we may have missed all wonderful performances of Liza Minnelli. Oh, me, me. And I don't think many people realized that he did a lot of the antiques on the sets. He would even check the doorknobs. He did everything. If it hadn't been for Vincent Minnelli, there would not have been a Meet Me in St. Louis. For the past three years, Turner Classic Movies has sponsored a contest inviting movie fans in cities with particular connections to classic films to compete for a hometown screening attended by one of the original stars. This year, the winner was St. Louis. The film was screened at the Tivoli, which Margaret O'Brien saw for the first time from the window of the Loop Trolley, a photo opportunity alluding to the trolley song, one of the best known from the film. But it was another song from Meet Me in St. Louis that became the most endearing and enduring. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. But it might have become neither if it hadn't been for Judy Garland insisting the lyrics to Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas be changed. It was, we're leaving St. Louis, it's all terrible, it's horrible, and Judy said, I, I don't want to sing that to little Margaret. I want to make her happier because she's sad enough as it is to leave St. Louis. So Judy and Hugh Martin got together and really rewrote those lyrics. In a day and age when you might think classic movies would be fading from memory, TCM's success seems to suggest they are more popular than ever, not because of the times in which they were made, but because of the times in which they are shown. We have uh, never been as divided as we are now. I think the role that we play now is as, as important as it's ever been. Yeah, there's no cure to like Top Hat. That's right, that's right, that's right. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody, uh, nobody hates their neighbor because the, uh, he likes Fred and I like Ginger. You never feel like you're making a classic. You're, you're making the movie, you hope it's going to be good, but you don't realize it's going to go on for generations to come. And now for years to come, hundreds of fans of the film will be able to say they met Margaret O'Brien in person. Right here where we met. 